Open, damn it! Open! Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you robo sets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out toyhacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Leader Class Ultra Magnus. Now this is a figure that I wasn't planning on picking up. After all, I already have the Siege version, which I think looks pretty good. But big shout out to my good buddy Bert the Stormtrooper, who after I watched his review, I realized there was enough difference to go ahead and pick this guy up as well. So thanks Bert! So anyway, let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Ultra Magnus here in robot mode and some great wraparound artwork of Ultra Magnus in robot mode, vehicle mode. you got Mount St. Hillary there in the background with the arc. Back of the box, Ultra Magnus in cab mode with his cab bot unarmored. Armored up Ultra Magnus that we know and love and his car carrier mode. Side of the box, the kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Ultra Magnus opened up out of this packaging and check him out and see if there was enough difference to justify picking this guy up again. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. And yes, before anybody says anything, it's gone. I had a mishap when I was trimming, had the trimmer up and the guard popped off and so we're baby faced again. So what I decided to do with this video is just show off the comparisons between Kingdom Ultra Magnus and Siege Ultra Magnus. So if, like myself, you're having a hard time deciding if you want the Kingdom version, if you already own the Siege. Now, I also happen to have the Netflix Spoiler Pack Ultra Magnus, but he's just the Siege version that is repainted in a darker collar. So I'm not really going to go over that one. Now, starting things off, we'll pull these guys in just a little bit closer. There is lots of differences with the sculpting and the molding, as you can see right here. Starting off with the shoulder pieces, they are quite a big difference in the sculpting. The Kingdom Ultra Magnus, his is a lot wider and whiter. You will know that Kingdom Ultra Magnus is a brighter white than the Siege. So right here with these shoulder pieces, they are wider and they have blue paint applications here on the tip where these are more narrow and their tip is like a mushroom peg on the Siege version and that's due to his transformation. Now moving in closer with the head sculpts, the head sculpts are different. Paint application, of course, you've got the Kingdom version has a more gray, dark gray face opposed to the silver face on Siege. And Siege seems to be a little bit more happy. He's kind of got a little smile on his face. Where the Kingdom, he's a sourpuss. Now, the shoulder piece here, this red section that connects the head, this looks to be molded exactly the same. So no difference there. There is differences, however, in the chest sections, as you can see. Siege Ultra Magnus, Kingdom Ultra Magnus has darker 
windows right here opposed to the siege. You can actually see through the siege windows to see some details underneath. You got a plain red area here opposed to siege that has the chrome and there just seems to be a lot more detail with the siege chest and I prefer the detail. Now jumping real quick up to the shoulders, these pieces here are completely different as well. You can see there's a big sculpt difference in the shoulder pieces where the missiles attach. And what I find funny is this one right here is really plain. On Siege, both shoulders had the same amount of detail. On Kingdom, that one's plain. That one has sculpted detail. Also, take a look at the missiles. Kingdom missiles are a completely different sculpt than the Siege. Now, I'm sorry if I keep jumping around. I'm kind of going over this figure as I'm noticing things myself. Moving down to the belt, the belt is completely different on both figures as well. Here for the main blaster, they both, whoops, didn't mean to hit the camera. They both have the exact same gun, though, man, I'm knocking things all over the place. Kingdom Ultra Magnus, his gun is a darker gray, where Siege Ultra Magnus is silver. I do like the silver gun a lot more. Moving down here to the forearms, these, upon closer inspection, look exactly the same. So I think these forearm pieces are the same, so no biggie there. Let's move on down to the legs. The thigh pieces, they look to be exactly the same as well, though the Siege Ultra Magnus does have the battle damage. Crotch piece, let's see. The lower crotch section is the same, but the blue section right above is different. A lot more sculpted detail on Siege opposed to Kingdom. Moving on down to the lower legs, the detailing here looks to be exactly the same, though... Siege, this section right here is blue on the Kingdom version. They're white. A lot more detail on Siege once again, especially here with the knee decals, or not decals, knee details right there. It's the same sculpt, but Siege has chrome with a little red dot, where Kingdom is just a dark gray. Moving down here to the shins, that looks to be the same, except with the Siege, there is a chrome outline. And the feet... The feet are exactly the same, aside from Siege's battle damage. Here on the side of the legs, you're going to notice a big difference. Not only does Siege come with these extra shin guns. Let me get this unpegged. But you can see a big difference right here on the side of the leg, which is the car carrier trailer that's molded into his leg armor. Big difference in the sculpting there, which we'll see more in vehicle mode. Let's see. Let's take a look at the back of the figure. Back of the figure, this section here is exactly the same, but the fanny pack is going to look a lot different. And as you can see, the sculpted detail for the back of the legs is the same. So there you have all the differences of Ultra Magnus in his up armored mode. Now let's take a look at his cab robot form. Now to get to Ultra Magnus's inner bot, you have to remove all the armor. So we're going to start off with removing his blaster. And then right here on the forearms, you've got these little sections here. You're going to fold down and just pull these right off. They do connect with that peg right there. You'll see a little hole there in the forearm. So those slide in and just wrap around. We'll go ahead and do this here for the other arm. Get those off. And now for the leg armor, you just simply slide the leg out. And do that for the other side. Up here on the shoulder armor, the first thing you have to do is take this little gray section, fold this down. This is what locks this shoulder piece onto the shoulder. Take this off, just slide that right off, put that to the side. Do that here on the other arm. And now with the chest piece, you're just going to grab right here, lift this up. That pegs in. You've got two pegs right there that peg in right there below the windows. Lift this up. And here on the back, you want to pull this off. 
that snaps in with these clips right there on the back. So there you have the inner bot. Go ahead and flip the heel spurs out. Take the belt section here, bring it down, rotate, put that back in place. Now you're going to take the arms, open those up. This will let you, well, move the belt down once again. This will let you bring the cab forward so you can flip out the robot head, bring that back up, put the belt back in place, and now you're going to take this whole chest section and, let's see, slide forward so you can bring the, as I call it, the fanny pack, bring this up, slide the chest back, and lock the arms in place, and there you have Ultra Magnus's inner robot. Compared with Siege's inner robot, and the first thing you're probably noticing is the difference in the white. Kingdom Ultra Magnus, really bright white, where the Siege Ultra Magnus is kind of a grayish white, if you will. Now taking a closer look at the figures, the face sculpts look great. The head sculpts look exactly the same, but there is different paint applications. Kingdom Ultra Magnus has white for the inside of his face, where Siege has silver. They both have red eyes. Kingdom has a silver crest, where the Siege version has a blue, and they both have blue mouth plates, though different colors. Looking at the chest, there's a big difference right there. Where Kingdom looks more like a modernized truck, Siege Ultra Magnus is very Cybertronian with a lot of translucent plastic, and he just looks beefy. He's big and thick, almost like a bodybuilder, where Kingdom Ultra Magnus, he's got a dad bod. I love it. That is so cool. The arms, the arms look exactly the same, though Kingdom has a bigger Autobot logo there on the shoulder. You got the molded in smokestacks there on the side. Let me get his arm clipped in all the way. There you go. Gotta get that snap. The belts, look exactly the same other than the paint applications, crotches the same, upper legs we've already seen, and the lower legs, those are the same as well, though there is more paint applications there on Siege. So there you have the inner bots. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inner bot cab mode. To transform Ultra Magnus here to the cab, let's go ahead and unsnap the shoulders, bring the belt down, and the chest section down because we're going to hide the head once again. Snap that in place and bring this section forward. That way we can slide the fanny pack back down. Now I'm showing transformation for this figure because even though it's exactly the same as the Siege, I never reviewed Siege Ultra Magnus. Now I first started reviewing modern figures when the Siege line came out and for some reason I skipped Ultra Magnus, so that's why I'm showing this off now. So once you get this all formed up, you're going to bring the arms in like so and just fold those along the back. They will peg in right there. You've got a peg right there that's going to line up to that slot. Get that in there. Now mine is really tight. I don't know. See, that arm goes in really good, but this left arm is a struggle. But once you get the arms in, you've got that look going on. Take the heel spurs, fold those back into the legs or into the feet, and bring the legs up. Make sure that belt is all the way up there. Nice ratchets there on the legs. Peg those together, the legs together right there. And now you have Ultra Magnus's cab mode. So we'll put him right there and compare him to Siege's cab mode. And as you can see, a huge difference. Siege here is a Cybertronian vehicle where Kingdom is an Earth vehicle. And I love it. There is such a big difference right there with those cabs. Now, a couple complaints with both cab modes is I hate the fact the smokestacks are there in the center. They should be along the side. So, I hate that. I, I don't get it, but I don't think there was any real way they could have made that work. Then again, I could be wrong. Plus, the fists are very 
wide open. You can tell those are robot fists right there. I guess one option, you could rotate these around, so maybe they don't look as bad, but still, there's robot fists hanging off the back of these cabs. Plus, you have the feet sticking straight out. Also, take a look at the differences in the wheels and the tires. I love that. That is really, really cool how they made the tires more Earth style than the Cybertronian look. So there you have Ultra Magnus in his cab mode. Let's go ahead and transform him into his full car carrier mode. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in all the Ultra Magnus pieces and parts. And what we're looking for first is these shoulder sections right here. Go ahead and remove the missiles. We don't need those right now. And now you're going to take these gray clips and bring these straight down and you're going to see a little clip right here on one of the shoulders line that up with this slot right here and form this piece if i can get it to stay together so you're going to form that piece right there and this actually clips right there between the legs of ultra magnus so get that slid in right there so you've got that going on. Now we're going to take the leg sections and you're just simply going to unfold this here, this blue piece away from the leg. This is going to form the entire side of the car carrier. We're going to do this on both sides. It's amazing how much of this folds up into that leg armor. So once you get these out, you're going to take both of these pieces right here and peg these together. So you've got that going on. Now you're going to take the section right here that had Ultra, Ultra Magnus's chest and back and completely unfold all of this. There's a little section right in here and you have it just like so upside down. This is going to be the rear section. This is going to be the back. Now underneath, you've got these two pegs, and that's where the arm gauntlet sections are going to go. You got little holes right here. Line these up. Make sure the flat section goes on the inside. Get both those lined up just like so. So we've got this going on. And now you attach this to here. And there's a lot of little tabs and sections you have to plug into. Like, look right here. There's a peg there. There's a slot here, which will line up to the hole there. And there's the slot right there. So this, this is kind of a pain in the butt to do. You just line up one half first. Get those locked in. Bring this over. You can see right here how these slot in. Hopefully this will show up on camera real good. And just squeeze all these together. So you've got this and push this down right there. And now to attach this to Ultra Magnus, you've got these little holes right here that'll line up to these clips there on Ultra Magnus's legs. So get that lined up just right. There you go, snap in one and then we'll snap in the other side. Now, once everything's all tabbed in and secure, you're going to take the missiles and there's a couple different places you can put the missiles. They're shown in the instructions back here, but I think that looks stupid. I like them positioned right there near the front of the vehicle. There's also another option. That you can put the missiles right here on top of the cab. And this is going to give this Ultra Magnus here a much more G1 look with the missiles more forward on the cab, just like the G1 toy. But to be honest, I like these missiles positioned right here. I just think that looks awesome and more aesthetically pleasing, if you will. So I think that looks really good. Now with the large rifle, you can put the rifle right here on the back or bring that forward to this peg right here, which once again, that's where I like it. So there you have Ultra Magnus in his car carrier mode. And I like this. This looks really good. 
You can still see those robot fists right there. You got all of the earth style tires. It doesn't really clip together as good as the Siege version because he only clips together with those little clips there on the side. So let's go ahead and bring in the Siege version, which is a little bit more compact, yet battle ready. You can probably see a big difference right here in the length between the car carrier section and the cab. And that's because this Ultra Magnus, the Siege Ultra Magnus, connects a lot closer to the cab. Remember when I told you about the mushroom pegs on the shoulders? They click all the way here at the end, making a much more secure connection with the actual cab itself. So you got these shoulder pieces that connect right here. You've got that securing uh, the cabs, or excuse me, that got that securing the trailer section along with the clips right here in the front. And there's also this clip right here that holds all this in place more. So this figure, the Siege car carrier mode, is a lot more secure and solid than the Earthrise version, as I said, which only connects via those clips right there. The pegs don't go all the way back. So if I can get both of these on screen to give you a better idea of what they look like together. So big difference in the vehicle mode. Now, a major disappointment with this car carrier mode for both figures is you can't really carry other Transformers in them. I mean, this section here, I wish it would be able to fold back to allow other vehicles to drive up into it, but it just doesn't. So what are you going to do? No biggie. And of course, there's my complaint. Once again, you see the smokestacks sticking right up there in the middle of the cab. I do not like that. Let's go ahead and add Siege's weapon to his vehicle mode. So there you have both of them in their car carrier mode, all armed and ready for battle. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Ultra Magnus with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Ultra Magnus, who will be getting his own G1 review this month, Studio Series 86 Hot Rod, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. So, are there enough differences between the Kingdom Ultra Magnus and the Siege Ultra Magnus to warrant you purchasing this figure once again? Well, it all really depends on you. In my personal opinion, as far as the up-armored Ultra Magnus that we know and love from the animation and the cartoon series, I'm going to have to go with Siege. I like the Siege version. He's got a lot more detail and a lot more paint applications. Now, when it comes to the inner cab robot mode, I'm going with Kingdom all the way. I just love the looks, the white inner robot, and his dad bod look, which that's, that's just me and my sense of humor. Now, as far as vehicle mode is concerned, I have to once again go with Kingdom because the G1er in me loves the throwback look of the car carrier mode. It just looks so G1, and I absolutely love it opposed to Siege's Mad Max Cybertronian look. So all in all, it's really up to you. Bert the Stormtrooper was right. They are completely different figures, completely different molds. So yes, they're going to look different on the shelf, but it's up to you if you want to spend another $50 on an Ultra Magnus figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!